Hi, my name is Ann Ruthman, and I wanted to share with you a little tool that I love to use to keep track of all of my friends and um, what's going on in their blogs. The tool is called bloglines.com. It's an internet database that you create of your favorite blogs. The address is bloglines.com. Um, to start off, you'll want to register so that you can have an account to keep all of your um, blogs in and use your email password. Um, I believe you want to use your real email because you can get blogs emailed to you if you like or not. I'm just going to put in a fake one. Neener at neener.com. Neener. Neener. Um, time zone so that you know in your time when they updated and language. Parlez-vous français? No, English. And this is basically the tool that I use the most. It's the feed section. There's an add button, an edit button, and an options button. And they give you a general folder to start off with, which already has one of their own feeds. And I am going to unsubscribe just to start with a clean slate. It also shows you how to unsubscribe. Anytime you click on a blog, you have um, these options available to you. You can edit your subscription, unsubscribe, find related feeds, etc. What I'd like to do is I'd like to add some new blogs that I'd like to track. And let's start off with, what do I have open here? Okay, let's go new school of photography. I just copied the URL and I'm pasting it into here. This is what makes Bloglines um, one of the easiest blog roles to use because you can pretty much give it any um, blog's address and it will find the feeds for you. This one found um, an Atom feed and a regular feed. And I'll just click here. Instead of top level, which is this folder here, I'm actually going to create separate folders which will organize diff the different blogs that I like to track. I personally have a photographer category, a business category, um, a friends category, and a wasting time category. <laughs> Maybe you have a few that you like to waste time on too. Um, so this one's going to go into a business folder. And I do want to display it as new. And if I can get complete entries, I would prefer those. That way I don't have to actually leave blog lines to visit the blog and I can view it all in one place. There you see it created a new folder underneath the main folder and it shows that there are 10 new um, posts in this folder, even though there's only one blog listed here. Let's add a few more blogs just to give you a sense of that. You can also, the quick way to add blogs is to go up to this up here. Um, I'm going to find another website to pull a blog from. Oh, by the way, um, a quick tip for getting around um, window to window when you're in one program is to use the Open Apple tilde on a Mac, which the tilde is underneath the escape button, and on a PC that would be Alt Tab, and that quickly um, transitions you between different screens. I'm going to add my own blog, which I think is a really good idea for anybody who is blogging because you want to know, first of all, if your blog does have a feed attached to it. Um, because if you have a feed, then you can actually have people subscribe to your blog and, you know, check it regularly. Um, so I use this as a quick button. I hit subscribe to URL, the go to tab. I only have one feed available. Woohoo, I've got 11 subscribers. That's awesome. I'll check into those later. Um, and I'm going to create a new folder for myself. I'm going to put myself into the photographer folder. And I'd like to view complete entries if possible. And subscribe. And now you see I have two folders, two blogs. Let's add just a few more. Simple Photo Life. Great little blog. By the way, Dane is awesome for helping me find this program to allow you to see this tutorial. 
uh, see 15 subscribers subscribers on their regular feed 32 or 23 subscribers on their RSS feed and five subscribers on their Atom feed I don't really know the difference between the RSS and the Atom um, so I tend to gravitate to whatever seems to be popular when I choose the ones that I want I'm putting it in the business category hopefully viewing is complete entries and now I've got two of them there let's add another one I already add wedge shooter. No. Okay. S subscribe to URL. Again, I still <laughs> gravitate toward the most popular one. I figure there's got to be something good about it. Business folder, complete entries, subscribe. Okay, now um, there are two ways that you can view the new posts. This number here represents the new posts in each blog, and this number represents the total new posts for that category. If you, are, if you have lots of time on your hands, or if you're great about scheduling your time to read blogs, and you just want to catch up on everybody all at once, you can actually just click on a category heading and view um, all of the new posts in the same window regardless of who the posts come from. Um, my blog allows you to view entire pictures and entire posts. I work with uh, blog lines, or not blog lines, um, blogspotblogger.com and however there's a little danger in this because once you go to another blog to view um, the new items, like they have a lot of them, and there you can see that their posts don't show up as full posts, so you can actually just click on the heading, which will bring up a new window, and then you can read the full post. But um, some blogs don't allow that, and that could be the difference between the Atom RSS thing, but again, I don't know enough about that to tell you for sure. However, um, so once you've clicked away from this category, you go back to it and suddenly there are no more posts in the category because they've all been erased since the blog lines program assumes that you looked at them all the last time. However, you can display items within the last um, however long it's been since you last checked Blogger. I'm going to just check for the last 48 hours. and. That brings up um, the last post that was made during that time period. Simple photo minute, great. Full pictures here too. And again, I can click on the category and see all of the items here. Let me see if it's different. No, oh, yep. Yeah. See. <coughs> If I want to display it, let's say I want to display last week. And you can also go by the category and see all of the items by the last day that they were displayed. So that's the basics of blog lines. Um, if you haven't started a blog yet, they also do offer a blog for you. Um, which you can create right in the program. I haven't used it, so I'm not sure how great it is or how much customization can happen. Um, another great thing is to be able to search your posts. I uh, can't remember which link that is. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Maybe I can get to it here. Um, you can search oh, like a myriad of ways. And you can even exclude your own feeds or you can search just the feeds that you have, um, which is really nice. And you can see related feeds, which is kind of cool too. So I believe that's it, unless I want to show you any options. There are lots of different options to play with. But um, if you do have any questions, feel free to contact me and to add my blog to your new Bloglines account. And it's Ann Ruthman 
www.blogspot.com. Have a wonderful time playing with this great program and hopefully it will keep you closer and connected to your friends and perhaps your competition too.